Okay, guys, so I'm back. And this foundation is hot like McDonald's coffee in the 90s. So I said, let me try it. Um, I did order it from Target. Um, it is the True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum uh, with 1% hyaluronic acid in it. Um, so as soon as I see that, I'm thinking this is more of like a luminous, um, hydrating foundation. I'm not sure it's going to work for an oily person like me. So let's prep the skin. Okay, so I turned off beauty mode because I, I just realized it was on. Uh, what color did I get? I got Deep 810 Deep. Um, it was all the deeper shades were pretty much sold out. Um, this might be a little bit too light for me, but it doesn't. I'll, I'll still usually make it work. Um, I set I uh, prep my face with the this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I love this particular powder under under my foundation. It just really keeps my face as like matte as possible i usually concentrate it on my nose anyway and then i also use this scandinavia setting spray in oily so let's try it out i'm not going to use a brush because that just doesn't work for me so i have uh i'm also mixing it with the no poor problem primer i've been doing that lately because i just find the way it applies like it just makes my face looks really good so So that's how much I'm putting, mixing it. It's like in a dropper bottle, but it's, I don't know if I like this dropper bottle. This should have been in like a pump, cause it's a little bit messy. You see that, you guys? And it's not really like, um, the, the dropper is not really getting any product out. I kinda had to do it a couple of times. So let's start. Okay, so this is my face with it and without um i really excuse me this is the side with it because i'm on inverted right now but um i actually think it looks like skin it actually matches my skin complexion pretty good so um let me do the other side okay so this is my entire face done and you know what i really do think this was formulated for all skin types because it is so thin it feels like you have nothing on and it looks like skin like it, it it's so funny it, okay so this is part two i know my videos can be a little bit long but i kind of like to explain a little bit and i also post these all together on my youtube channel um i will um it's literally my my name so if you guys want to check out the whole thing without having to watch two parts, you can always go there and subscribe. I mean, it's free. Anyway, um, I also bought um, this True Match um, Corrective Cream um, Concealer, and I like this as well. Like, look at this, you guys. I'm just kind of like blending it out, um, but I really like it as well this tone is really nice um yeah look at that it looks super good and i'm you know i'm just lightly highlighting my nose as well but this true match foundation y'all i see what everybody and if you are oily you can definitely wear this. You know, just like I said, put that powder underneath and you will be good. Um, I don't necessarily, I'm not a big fan of the actual um, applicator. It should just come in a pump. I'm not really sure why. I guess they want to make it feel like skincare. Um, but I, I think they should have just uh, put it in a pump because it's all like messy. Like, look at this. I, I, that's going to bother me. So. That's the only thing that I'm just like, I don't like, um, but let me finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is my finished look. You know, it looks very, very natural. This, I don't have beauty mode on. Um, 
I really, really like this foundation and I'm pleasantly surprised um, because I was afraid that it was gonna be too luminous for me. But I do think the combination of actually putting the powder underneath my foundation um, really, really helped a lot. I did see another review and she had drier skin and she thought that maybe it dried her skin up. But she also used the um, It Cosmetics um, uh, Bye Bye Pores translucent powder as well. But she put it um, um, after she put on the foundation. Um, but I'm really, really happy with the results. It looks like skin and it really actually matches my skin complexion pretty good. The only thing is I had to order this online. You know, why is this not in the store? So, yeah, but it looks good.